All right, guys. Uh, welcome again. This is the second one for today. This is a, a post wrapping concept workshop with Jonathan. How are you, fella? Good, thank you. It's all right. So, uh, tell me, man. You just uh, watched that first testimonial. Yes. You yeah, yeah. nervous or? Very, very casual. So that's yeah, yeah, no, that's all good. So, man, you uh, you just completed your your workshop. What how was your experience? Uh, yeah, really good experience. Um, it was really good to flesh out the idea with. Um, two people that were really knowledgeable and able to contribute and mm -hmm. um, yeah I got a lot of benefit out of that. What did you anticipate before coming out? Um, I was, uh, what was I anticipating? I guess, um, I guess being able to talk, talk about the idea and have it critiqued um, and yeah I guess get into the, the, the workflow of the idea. And yeah. the, uh, uh, I guess the technical side of things. Yeah, it really sort of cement the, the structure of how we're going to approach the development and really what avenues we're going to address. Yes, yeah. Yeah, cool. I guess um, one of my main objectives for this idea is scalability. Mm -hmm. And I thought, <clears throat> you know, when I was getting this, thinking about the idea, I could, could attempt to crack it myself, mm -hmm. but it would be a really poor of course. product. Um, I, I wanted to find someone that gets the vision of it being a, um, me wanting to uh, scale up this business idea. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's why I thought I'll go with Upster because go with the professional. Yeah, do do it right, do it once. Do that's it. right. Yes. We um I, I hear so many horror stories uh, about people who do decide to develop a, a good concept as well, but they, yeah. they don't go about it in the right way because look at the end of the day. There are so many different facets of this industry that really work together cohesively. Yes. Um, if you don't have a person with each of those skill sets, then you know it, it, it's going to crumble. So you really need to have have that. So many people in different industry, well, in different parts of the industry, working together for one common common objective. But um, yeah. No, it's uh, a really cool um, cool idea you've got. I've never heard of anything mm. like it. Um, and I think it's it's definitely something that that is going to benefit the end user. You know, it's not yeah. it's not something that is uh, trivial like a, a game or something. Although they are they are a life value added. You know, they they uh, really create some sort of um, some sort of uh, dependence at the end of the day. But yours is actually got your objective here is is a uh, quite a quite a cool goal. So now, is this something that you're you're trying to do by yourself, or are you looking at seeking investment? What's the story there? Um, because I'm a control freak, mm -hmm. I would like to do it myself. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of running the business, I will need. Of course. Um, if, especially if you want to scale. Yes, you know. exactly. But you can only do so much before you have to. Exactly. But in terms of managing the business and having that control, it is something ideally I would like to have control over. Yeah, and really at this level, at this stage, you all you have is an idea yes. and equity. You know, you do not want to part with your equity now. Obviously, if you have to uh, seek that that initial uh, investment or that seed capital, you you have to do what you have to do. But if you can alleviate that entirely and really sort of dive into this thing with a business partner or an angel investor like a friend or a family member or even by yourself, then it's always the best option, you know? Yeah. Your equity, you you can then disperse to people who can truly contribute later down the track, you know? Like yeah. whether or not you get a, a CTO or a CFO or, or whatever it may be. But um, yeah, no, it, it, it's an exciting time. So what's your understanding about the process now moving forward? Um, so moving forward, uh, when I was speaking to Ben, he, he said um, in about a week's time I can expect to start getting um, a more formal quotation mm -hmm. of um, the costs um, and then the, I guess the different, the, the, the builds mm -hmm. so to speak, so the, um, the basic. The actual sprints of the, the sprints, yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and how do you like the way that we work on the Rapid Agile methodology so we really concentrate on one sprint at a time and then send you a live build every day? Yeah, I, I, I really like that idea. Yeah. Um, obviously, when you hand the reins over to someone, you, you want to get some kind of feedback so you know that they're tracking yeah. the way you're, you intended. 
So and and that is the biggest the biggest issue with the, the industry standard of development in terms of waterfall, um, where you really give them an idea, they give you a deadline, and then you're throughout that entire journey, that process, you're in the dark, you're in the blind, you have no idea what level they're at, whether it's design, development, QA, etc. So this way, in order for us to really sort of get you in the kitchen with our chefs, you know what I mean, and you're yep. really making this meal together, it's it's the only way to really develop an app because it, it is so transparent. It is such a collaborative process. And, and we can really get that validated feedback from your beta audience or your beta users. So I think um, at the end of the day, you know, look, this, this is your baby. You know, no one's going to be, to be 100% honest, no one's going to be as, as... Invested. Yeah, invested. Not financially. Yeah, exactly, you know. Yeah. And, and we really need to utilise that. So, um, it, it's, no, it's really cool. So, um, alright, so for the people at home that are in that conceptual discovery stage and they're, they're really thinking about creating a game changer or, or really implementing their idea into action, yeah. is this sort of the, the approach that you would recommend for them? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I guess when you have an idea, it's hard to take that next step or hard to know where to go from that. But yeah. uh, I guess coming here, you do feel reassured that you are going to be handheld as you go along the, yeah. the journey. Not, um, it's not going to be ad hoc. Um, and I think that was the one thing I was finding. There are two very distinct paths you can take it very ad hoc version, uh, journey or a, um, or someone that really gets your idea um, and you can partner with them. And that's yeah, and that's what it's about, man. We, we really need to, to have that partnership together and, and really have that vision in sync with each other. Yes. Otherwise, you know, at the end of the day, and delivery comes you're, and you're not happy with it, you know. Yeah. It's, we, we really have to utilise each other's skill sets. Yes. But um, no, it's really exciting, man. Well, uh, Thanks for uh, coming in for the workshop. We really Thank appreciate you, it. No and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep you guys posted at home and see how, how Jonathan goes.